All right. Presenter number three is Megan Lofton. Megan is in the Department of Kinesiology and Health, and her advisor is Valeria Freisinger. And the title of her talk is Former Team Sports Athletes' Experiences of the Physical and Psychological Effects of Sports-Related Concussion. So a couple years ago, Chris Borland came to Miami to talk about his decision to retire from the NFL after experiencing a sport-related concussion. Other professional athletes have retired for similar reasons, though usually after sustaining multiple concussions. And their reasons for retiring was based on the fact that they were dealing with the ramifications of this injury. But what about high school and college athletes? The reality is there are more high school and college athletes transitioning out of sport because of sport-related concussion, more so than professionals, simply because there are more athletes playing at this level. And that's concerning because high school and college athletes are still in school, and yet they're struggling in the classrooms to meet their academic demands. And they're struggling to define themselves now that they are no longer athletes, and they're struggling with the physical and psychological effects of this injury. In fact, Research supports that athletes are struggling in the classrooms to meet their academic demands and that they desire a need for academic accommodations. <clears throat> Additionally, athletes will also typically self-report that their symptoms go hand in hand. So that means that an athlete may be dealing with some sort of cognitive impairment that's a result of some sort of physical symptom that they're experiencing, like headaches, which then further exasperates the emotional symptoms that they're already experiencing. Additionally, Research supports the relationship between history of concussions and depression, as in the more concussions that an athlete experiences, the more likely they are to be depressed. And finally, it's important to note that how these concussions are managed for athletes can have long-lasting consequences for them, especially if these concussions are not handled correctly. So how can we help? What well, starts by understanding these athletes' experiences. Therefore, the purpose of my study is to explore former high school and college team sport athletes' experiences of the physical and psychological effects of sport-related concussion. And I will do this by conducting qualitative interviews with these athletes and asking them questions like, can you tell me about your sport-related concussion? Can you tell me about the physical, emotional, and cognitive symptoms that you experience? Can you tell me about how other people in your life have responded to this injury? And can you tell me about how sport may have changed for you since sustaining your concussion? Those interviews will then be transcribed and themes will be pulled out in order to explain the stories and these experiences of this select group of former athletes. Those stories then can be used to gain a better understanding of sport-related concussion and change how we're treating and supporting these athletes. Thank you.